The CIA is the most famous intelligence gathering organization in the United States, but the CIA is just one of 17 different intelligence agencies, and according to an investigation by the Washington Post, just one of some 1,300 government offices and nearly 2,000 private companies charged with finding potential threats to the nation's security. Much of the current system sprang up after the September 11th attacks at the behest of the Bush administration. Well, the U.S. intelligence community really has a history of growing and to some degree shrinking. It never shrinks as much as it's grown, but growing in periods of uh, perceived threat. The Washington Post says public oversight is very difficult because of the classified nature of the work. The story pointed out one other fact. Intelligence contractors are hiding in plain sight. They're working in office buildings all over the United States with nothing to tell you that they're there. The investigation estimates that more than 850,000 people hold top secret security clearance. That's nearly one and a half times as many people living in Washington, D.C. And in the U.S. Capitol and surrounding areas, more than 30 building complexes are under construction or have been built since the September 11th attacks. In total, they occupy the equivalent area of three Pentagons and 22 U.S. Capitol buildings. The Post also points out information still isn't being shared across agencies, something critics have suggested could have prevented the Fort Hood shooting rampage or stopped Abdul Farouk Abdul Muthalib from boarding the U.S. bound plane he allegedly attempted to blow up last December. Intelligence officials on Monday issued this reaction. We accept that we operate in an environment that limits the amount of information we can share. However, the fact is, the men and women of the intelligence community have improved our operations, thwarted attacks, and are achieving untold successes every day. At the White House, officials wouldn't say whether they tried to keep the newspaper from publishing the story. There were some concerns about uh, certain data and the uh, uh, the availability of some of that data. Um, again, we are in a balancing act, uh, as one should be, in ensuring that we have both the best capabilities in the world, but we're not wasting taxpayer dollars. But experts say the size of the U.S. intelligence community won't shrink anytime soon. Many of them, in fact, wondering if its growth is now out of control. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.